is it necessary? I mean, you can all see it. Yeah. We can okay. see it. Yeah. Now, he saw, what he saw was a box of barf. I mean, <laughs> that's, a, that's a dream of every teenager, American teenager. I mean, men like bodily, bodily fluid for whatever reason. We like to joke about it. We talk about it, you know. And, uh, and so he just loved it. This was the dream of his son. I found it and he's shaking it, you know. What he didn't know, that, this is what we call, by the way, we call this naive reality. You see, there is one reality, capital R, only God knows that. The rest of us stand around it with our own glasses of tradition, culture, bigotry, uh, race, however you want to look at it. We look at it and what we see is not the true reality. It's a naive reality. And this is what my friend was going through. He was looking at this box of barf with a naive reality. What this box was, was not something stinky, future, but it was absolutely the opposite. It was the best quality detergent. See, my friend didn't know that in Persian, the word bath means snow. It was not something that was supposed to be stinky looking and smelly or something. It was completely the opposite of what he thought it was. And so often, because we don't know the R, we look at reality with very naive realism. And we miss the boat. If you ask, if I ask any of you, the woman at the well that Jesus talked to, John chapter 4, what kind of a woman was she? Besides that? Oh, she, had, she had many men. Okay. Immoral. So immoral. Thank you very much. That's what I wanted to do. An average American Christian would say she was an immoral woman. I, I, I teach in life. Uh, Pacific, and I asked my, some of my students, what kind of a woman was she? And the Mexican brother in the back said, she was a hoochie mama. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, but she asked an African guy, someone from Africa, what kind of a woman was she? Uh, very simple, she couldn't have any children. That's why the, these men kept di divorcing her. She had to go from one man to another for protection. And finally, she's shacking up with this guy just for protection. Because in that part of the world, if you can't have any children, no one will touch you. We've got two different types of reality here. Just because we look at it through our own culture. In order to understand Islam, we have to realize the alternative understanding of reality. 